Hey, I'm Marty from Spring Ahead Media Solutions. Today I'm going to give you the basics of the analytics of your email campaign so you know what to look for. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe while I do these tutorials. My top videos are troubleshooting ones, so if you run into a problem or you get stuck somehow, you'll know how to find me. I also have an email list you can subscribe to, of course, where I will let you know about upcoming webinars and give you all kinds of tips and tricks that I think you should know. Let's dig in here. This is an email campaign that I sent out. The reporting on the back end for email campaigns and for customer journeys look the same but are found in different places. So with a customer journey, there's a place to view reports there too. This is for an email campaign where you chose what time and day it's sent. So this is our basic report here. This is what I kind of scan through when I go to look at things. Here we have how many people it's sent to. Here we have how many people opened it. The open number is not a particularly reliable statistic. Um, you can compare them to each other. So you can compare this open rate to your previous campaigns. But if it says that someone opened their email, you're not guaranteed that they specifically opened it. A few years back, Apple put out a privacy setting where you can set your phone so that it will not tell email marketers whether you opened your email or not. And what it actually does is it says you opened all of your email. So this number will be inflated. Um, but again, you can compare it to other ones. Your clicks here is a much more reliable number. When someone clicks on a link in your email, it's going to go through MailChimp first and so that they can clock it and then um, they'll get to where they're going. Right over here, we've got 10 bounced emails. Those are emails that didn't make it into an inbox. That's also represented down here under successful deliveries. There are two kinds of bounced emails and if you click on this, you can see who was who. Here's our breakdown, 10 total, eight soft, which means that the email exists, but for whatever reason, it couldn't get into the inbox, maybe a spam filter, maybe the inbox was full, and a hard bounce, which means that the email address no longer exists or will never work. Um, with hard bounces, those contacts get labeled as cleaned. They're no longer counted towards your number of contacts and you cannot email them ever again. We're gonna go back out of this. Next, we've got unsubscribes. It is natural for people to unsubscribe from your emails. If you are curious who they are, you can click on this and see who they are. Again, MailChimp will label them as unsubscribed and you will not be able to email them again. And finally, down here under abuse reports, this is when people mark you as spam. You really hope to not get too many of these. Now, naturally, your next question is like, what should these numbers be? Um, in all email in all of the world, the average open rate is around 20%. If you have a good list of people who signed up for your emails, want to hear from you, naturally that open rate should be better. It should be more, I would say around 40%. Again, keeping in mind that not all of those opens are real opens. Click rates very much depend on the links that you have in your email. Do you have call to action buttons for them to click on? Do you have links for them to click on? What is the content of your email? Bounces should be fairly limited. Right, most of the email addresses that you have should be good ones. If you end up with a lot of bounces or a lot of unsubscribes or a lot of spam requests, you have a problem with your list and also MailChimp may flag you as being suspicious because it looks like you're spamming people or your list is not solid. Next, I'm gonna scroll down here. Here we have some MailChimp suggestions on how to make our emails better. Here we have our click performance how many clicks each of the links in my email got. And we have a click map where we can see specifically in the email where people clicked. This is a really good way of confirming that your email design did what you wanted it to do. So for instance, if I sort these by most clicked, my most clicked link was a button and it will always be a button. People wanna click buttons. I'm gonna head back out. Scroll down again. Here we can see a chart on what our open rate was for this campaign versus my average campaigns, which is a little overblown because often I'm just sending them to myself to test things. <laughs> um, and to other people, this is our peers in the industry that I've chosen over here. You choose that in your profile settings. You can also do this for click rates and for unsubscribes. And then we have our demographic information. This is information from MailChimp, from the knowledge that they have about these users. We can look at when our emails are open. We will always have the most right when it sends. Some of those are those false opens, but also people are more likely to open email when it immediately hits their inbox. 
and then you can just keep an eye on the rest of the times that they open it. You can also see who opened it the most. Again, if you have some of these numbers that are way out of whack, it could be that they left the email open in their browser and it was just refreshing a lot and where the people are. There's a couple more things I want to show you on here. I'm going to scroll back up to the top. Click performance is where we can see who clicked on what link. So this is like our click map, but while our click map showed us where people click, this has consolidated all of the links. So if you had it in more than one place, it's just consolidated it. And this is the number of people of unique link clicks. So this is who clicked each link. When you're looking at these numbers, keep an eye out for situations where it looks like maybe like all of your social media links have about the same number of clicks. There are spam filters that will click all of the links in your email. So if all of your social media links have about seven clicks, you know that that's what that was, but otherwise they're pretty reliable. And you can actually click right on this. I'm going to block this out, but you can see who clicked on those links. One last thing I want to show you, if you scroll your menu over here to analytics and email, you are able to run a report for a specific range of time to see overall what your statistics are, and you'll be able to compare your campaigns to each other in here. Well, there we go. If you have any questions or deeper dives, I will be putting out more videos, of course. You can ask questions in the comments, sign up for my email list, and I'll see you around.